there are 7 billion people on Earth. None of them are the same. We don't see the same, we don't think the same, and we definitely don't believe the same. Everything in the world is perceived differently by each of us. Even what one may believe is a solid, undeniable fact, someone else may perceive as a hoax. So, in the case of art, being its definition abstract since the beginning of time, can be perceived and will be definitely perceived in as many different ways as there's people in the world. Therefore, experiencing art is something unique for each of us. However, what is it that makes our perceptions so different from one another? And how different are they really? Every human perceives the world in different manner due to a combination of factors. First of all, people tend to focus on what they think their flaws are. For example, someone who's very disorganized may look up to someone else who actually is very organized, or someone who dislikes their own height will focus on the height of people or objects. Also, we are more likely to be always on the look for what we fear the most in order to avoid it. If there is an individual who is afraid of spiders, that person might be prone to be startled easily by anything small that moves and looks like a spider. Thus, this person would not like or feel comfortable around anything that resembles an arachnid. A very important factor combination is experiences and beliefs. Past experiences create beliefs within us, which get stronger the more we reinforce them. This creates biased perceptions of the world. For example, if someone is convinced that people from certain places in the world are arrogant and conceited, most probably whenever that person meets someone from that place, they'll perceive them as such. Besides, everyone has their own and unique identity. Some may be alike, but they will never be the same. People can identify themselves with objects, experiences, and their skills, or maybe with their job and or hobby. Therefore, people might get a cozier feeling while being around something that reflects their identity. Last but not least, we tend to project our thoughts to the outside. It's noticeable that when we have something fluttering in our minds, it seems to be everywhere. In the advertisement that's on the bus, on some random person's t-shirt, in the song that's playing on the radio at the moment, it simply seems to be anywhere we turn to. The same happens with the feelings those thoughts evoke in us. We project them in anything that might remind us of that thought, and we project that feeling in onto it. Due to all these factors, some people might find a piece of art offensive, while someone else might find the same piece inspiring, while the artist painted it with the intention of transferring a feeling of regret. Same art, different people, different perceptions. Maybe someone might not even consider it as a piece of art. Let alone perception. Some people won't even stop to give a short look to some pieces of art because they don't catch their interest at all. On the other hand, there are people who will go to the museum to admire their favorite painting certain day of the week or whenever they feel down because of how much they like it. People tend to feel attracted to things that resonate with them, what is going on in their lives and how they feel about it. Because they feel support or reassurance that what they are feeling, doing or going through, it's alright. That feeling of being in the right pathway is very rewarding and fulfilling. Likewise, people are more likely to focus on something that relates to a certain concern they have. For example, if someone is continually reading about economy and the big corporations and how they are managed, this person might favor pieces of art that have a message about economy, or about how the daily economy is affected by the big corporations. Also, people have needs, very different and some more than others. So people will search for anything that satisfies them or makes them feel closer to them. For example, a romantic person who is single and looking for love might feel attracted to paintings like Romeo and Juliet by Frank Bernard Dixie or The Keys by Gustav Klimt. Art is not for everyone. Or maybe it is, but we don't see as art what might as well be. I'd like to believe that everyone experiences art every day. When listening to the radio, when looking at a picture in the magazine, or maybe when they eat the food someone they love prepared. Meanwhile, art is also being experienced around the world in a more classical way, like going to a museum, to a play, maybe to watch and listen a symphony. Yet, traditional art is also in evolution. There are now artistic performances, conceptual pieces of art, and other movements that are spreading and growing through space and time. I believe art is anything that conveys a message, an idea or a feeling through any kind of medium in a well thought and elaborated manner. But that is just my perception of art, and how I like to experience it. How do you experience art? Have you thought about it?